Hey everybody, it's Jazz. Welcome back to my adventure with CTS Wardrobe. This is video number six, and we are actually going to start uploading items into the wardrobe from inventory and seeing how that whole process works. So I've decided we are going to upload items that I have on. So we're going to do the hair, the top, the pants, and then the little bunny sneakers down here. Now this video, we're going to use all things or all items that you can actually, um, you actually have a texture or a picture for already. And we're able to save the image or the texture. And other videos, I'll show you the other different ways. Like when we have to take a picture of something and upload it, I'll show you that in another video. So let us begin, shall we? Yes, we shall. I'm going to open my inventory. And there is my inventory. So let's get the inventory side set up. Um, I'm going to start with the little bunny sneakers. And those are actually Lola sneakers. There they are. So here's the Lola sneakers I have on. I have the tippy toe version on. They also have a flat one in here. Um, there is my texture or my image and then there's the HUD. So let's go ahead and open the image or the texture first and we're going to save it. So when I say it's full perm, it just means that down here it says, okay, discard, and then it gives you the option to save. So we're going to save this as a PNG and it's going to bring me to my hard drive, to my wardrobe folder. And I'm just going to save it just as it is. Well, the sneakers. Well, let me, I'm going to put the word bunny in there. Because they're bunny sneakers. Love the bunny. Y'all ever seen Space Jam? Love that movie. Okay. Save it. It is saving. Now it should be saved. So I'm going to close that out. The next thing, let me click on that folder and then close my search so I can see everything. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to take this folder that my shoes are in and I want to get it into my RLV folder. So I'm actually going to open another window and I'm in Firestorm so I can click that little suitcase and it opens up another inventory window. Dun, 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 dun. I was so glad when I found out we could do that. All right, so here's my RLV folder up here. There's my RLV folder. I got to get this Lola sneakers over here and I already have some folders set up there's my shoe folder so I'm going to take my Lola sneakers and I'm going to drag it over here to my shoes folder in RLV now let me open that up what I want to do is when I put things into my folders in my RLV main folder I want to take each of these folders and break it down by creator so I'm actually going to add a new folder because I have tons of shoes from this creator. So I'm going to add a rain folder for any shoes that I have that are rain. So we'll stick that in there. And now I have a folder that says rain and inside of it, all of my rain shoes will go. Okay. So we've got a folder in there. And if I open this, there's all the stuff. All right, now let's look over in wardrobe really quickly so I can show you. Okay, so we're going to go to import because first we need to upload the image that we saved. So I'm going to go to upload images and I am going to let's see, drop image files here. Let's see if this is going to work right. Dun, 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 dun. Let me scooch that over. So if I take this and I drag it over here, there it went. Drag it over there, and there is my image for my little sneakers. Now, here's the important part. This title right here has to be the exact same 
as the title for our folder right here because that's what um, wardrobe uses to find it in your RLV folder so if this doesn't match this which right now it doesn't then wardrobe can't find it in there and it's lost and it's like it's not in there and you're like yes it is and they're like no it's not it's because it doesn't have the same name so I'm not going to use the rain part because we already put it in a folder that says rain and here I'm going to delete that I'm going to call them lowly 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 lola 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 bunny sneakers. <laughs> All right. So this title has to match what our folder is. It also has to be unique. You can't repeat a title name. So I'm probably not going to have any more Lola bunny sneakers in there. So I'm going to keep this name and to make sure that it exactly matches, I'm going to copy it from here. And then I'm going to rename this folder right click rename and I'm going to paste here so now I know that my name in inventory exactly matches the name that I have in wardrobe so that RLV will be able to find it all right so let's do some tags I already like I said have thought through this so we're going to try it this way I want to put the name of the creator with the little tilde 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 I don't know how you say that whatever that little squiggly mark right there so we're going to put rain because that's the creator and you always separate your tags by commas so rain and then these are um, shoes and let's do sneakers so I know what kind of shoes they are this with the slash makes them a nesting tag and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute after we get that done but I think that's how I want to do that if it's shoes and then what kind of shoes it is um, also well they're flat in there so let's do tippy for tippy toes and let's say flat because they have both versions in there and then I want to do colors do I want to do colors it has does it have a head let's see does it have a head dun, 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 dun. oh it has a head what does the head look like let's add it oh yeah look at all those colors I'm not gonna put a color oh it's loading Oh yeah, I've got so many color options. Let's take that off. Yeah, we're not going to add a color in the tags because we can change the color. So, let's see. Are those the only tags I need? Yeah. The creator, the fact that they're shoes. Alright, we'll do it that way. So those are the tags I'm going to use for now. I want the creator in there. I want to know if they're shoes, that they're sneakers, they're, they're tippy, and then a flat. Should we say tippy toe? Tippy toe. Let's try that. Tippy toe and flat. Yeah, I know I spelled that wrong. It's my prerogative. All right. I'm not going to put creator. Um, remarks. You can type in any kind of description you want here. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, subfolders, I'm going to leave it blank. Access and all this. I'm just going to leave that blank for right now. So we'll just put in the title. We made sure it matched an inventory. And then I'm going to put in my um, tags. And then click Submit. And then when I do that and I close this, I've got, see, I've got flat, shoes, sneakers, tippy toe, and then rain as part of my tags. Let me refresh this. And we should have an image. I don't see the image. Where's the image? Oh, there's the image. So if I do any of these, it should show up. And there's my tags. If I take this off, they're still tagged under flat. So I have just loaded 
my Lola Bunny sneakers into my wardrobe. So I have one thing. Whew, y'all, that took a long time, didn't it? All right. Now, the other thing that I learned was that um, from watching Butta's videos is that you want to have um, a different folder for each one of these things, a different subfolder. So I want a subfolder for the HUD and I want a subfolder for the flat sneakers and I want a subfolder for the tippy toe sneakers because that way I can choose what I want to wear because if I just choose this folder then it's going to put everything on and that's not what I want. So we're going to go ahead and make a folder that says HUD and we're going to take the HUD and put it in there and then we're going to make another folder that says flat and we're going to take the flat version and stick it in there and then we're going to take another one and that's going to be the tippy toe version and I'm going to move these in there and then I'll leave my texture image there all right so we did that. Let's go over to wardrobe and see what happened when I did that. All right. So this says put on the Lola Bunny sneakers. So if I put this on, it's going to put everything on that's in the folder, which is not what I wanted to do, right? If I do this with the little, the t-shirt with the little symbol on it, the wear dialogue, when I click on that, Oh, guess what? Connecting to the wardrobe had failed. You know why? Because I don't have my head on. Step one, attach the wardrobe head. <laughs> Let's try this again. Where's my wardrobe head? If you don't have your wardrobe head on, guess what? It can't talk to your inventory. Whoops. Where is this? No, I don't want to. Oh, that's in the trash. There's my folder. Where's my HUD? How about we put that on? That would have been a good thing to do to start with, right? There's my HUD. So now let us try this again and go back over here and see if it'll connect. Ding! Da -da 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 -da. Now, that's what you should see. <laughs> the main folder, which is the Lilla Bunny sneakers. I can put on the flat ones, I can put on the tippy toe ones, and I can put on the HUD. And I can select them individually instead of putting everything on at once. And we always want it to have add to attachments. We don't want to replace, we want to add. So that actually worked now that I can talk to from wardrobe to my inventory. Oh, y'all, put the HUD on first. Lesson learned. Okay, told you I'd make some mistakes. This means to take it off as it is worn if it is worn so I can also go here I think and it'll show what I have yeah see put on put on with options or take off so I should be able to click here take off or I can click here so let's click here and it should take it off and let's see if it did Look, you guys, it took my shoes off. So let's put them back on. Ready? I'm going to go to this one because I don't want to put on everything. I want to choose what I want to put on. I want to put on the tippy toe. It says wearing succeeded. Let's close it so when I go back, the shoes should be on. There they are. It worked, it worked, it worked. There's my little tippy toe shoes. Ta -da! Okay, so now we know that wardrobe is talking to my inventory correctly and that we have that loaded correctly. Let's see, this one is 14 minutes long. So I'm going to stop that here and then the next video I'll go through the pants, the shirt, and the hair. And we'll do all that. Okay, but remember, you must always have the wardrobe head on if you're actually going to do it. Let's make that smaller. Man, that's so tiny. I'm going to lose that sucker somewhere. Let me move it up here. It's so little. Let me move it way up here. 
Okay. All right, so that's it for this video. We just added one thing. So in the next one, I'll show you how to do the rest of the outfit and get that in there and we'll practice. All right, peace out.